guys so today we're going to deal with millennium development goals this number eight signifies the number of the goals that is eight this is presented by me roman seni now most of you will be wondering why are we studying these goals now it's already 2016 and these goals are only valid up to 2015 yeah it's a fair argument but uh, like i'll say that you don't need to go into detail unlike i did while i was preparing but you should have a fair idea and why is that uh, why do you need to have this fair idea because it will help you understand how the cooperation happened between various nations in the past as well as how it will happen in the future for example whether they achieved the goals or not whether there was any one progress or not how the resource allocation happened this is the entire historic perspective which one gets also how the post 2015 development agenda how the sustainable development goals have been designed considering the shortcomings and achievements of the millennium development goals they are obviously valid up to 2015 and the base year is always taken as 1990 1990 all the united nation member states under united nation millennium summit under united nation millennium declaration agreed to mdgs and there are 189 united nation member states then they are 193 now there are specific targets to be exact 21 targets attached to eight goals okay so what are these so obviously you know my rhyme one is sun two is shoe three is tree four is boar five is hive six is sticks seven is heaven eight is gate nine is line and 10 is hen we will utilize that exactly here and we'll try to learn them one by one so there are eight international development goals first is to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger <coughs> so as you remember the sun sun is very uh, shining very brightly and it is very hot and there is zero uh, vapors out there zero irrigation possibility and the people have nothing to eat and they are dying and there is no water and to eradicate uh, so there is extreme poverty and hunger associate this with sun associate this with one you don't need to go into emotional ethical aspects while uh, making these images they are just for understanding purposes only second is to achieve universal primary education just remember the child is not wanting to go to school and his mother is beating him up with uh, shoes and then he reluctantly goes to school and he forgets to uh, wear his shoes and then he is beaten up by his pti just remember two is shoe two deals with universal primary education three is tree just remember there are uh, boys and girls who are sitting under the tree and they are not <laughs> learning rather doing other stuff and now just remember this gender okay so to promote gender equality and empower women okay three is tree tree just remember boys and girls and gender okay sitting together four is bore just imagine the child is having diarrhea and he is about to die and there is no transportation vehicle so finally he sits on a bore and then he is taken to the local phc where he gets his ors and vaccines five is hive mother is about to uh, like crash because she does not had anything to eat then a local tribesman passes her honey and finally she gets her health back just remember five is hive okay and hive means honey honey means mother mother means maternal health six means sticks to combat hiv aids malaria and other diseases all these diseases have left the people crippled so now they have to walk using sticks seven is heaven only like a beautiful environment is there in heaven where everything is green everything is organic everything runs from renewable energies like solar energy etc so seven means seven heaven means environmental sustainability eight is gate it means to develop a global partnership for development earlier all the nations used to close gate on each other but now they have finally opened and now they have started to develop a cooperation okay just remember this there was lot of funding for these goals from or to world bank from g8 to world bank to imf so that uh, those heavily indebted poor countries can redirect their their resources to achieve these targets now what are these targets under these goals so these are eight goals so there are targets so for example target 1a under this indicates that uh, half the number of people who live who living on less than 1.25 dollar a day between 1990 and 2015 then target 1b says achieve decent employment for women men and young people then target 1c says half the proportion of people who suffer from hunger between 1990 to 2015 this is not important this is just for like for your own knowledge sake 
then uh, goal 2a deals with uh, by 2015 all children should complete a full course of primary schooling okay then goal 3a deals with eliminate gender equality and okay eliminate gender disparity sorry uh, in primary and secondary education okay then reduce the child mortality obviously how does it work imr should be uh, reduced by two thirds so for example in india it is the target is 29 per 1000 similarly maternal like uh, maternal mortality you should have access to reproductive health then it should be reduced by three quarters for example in india it was 560 1990 so the target is 140 by 2015 and for uh, hiv aids like uh, you should reverse the epidemic of hiv aids you should reverse the epidemic of malaria you should have the num halt their progress okay and by 2010 give the treatment to all who needs for hiv aids now seventh is regarding reduce the biodiversity loss and integrate the principle of sustainable development etc etc and finally goal eight is uh, develop global partnership for development so for example consider ldc's develop transparent open rule based okay non-discriminatory trading and financial system so these were the some targets i will not go into detail of all of them total 21 in number so but now comes to criticism so there was lack of proper research analysis and justification so why only these particular goals were uh, achieved or included okay why not others were targeted to be achieved very very important uh, how, how do you know only these eight goals are important and not other then again uneven progresses between various nations so for example sub-saharan Af Sub africa and south asia did not progress did not achieve most of its goals okay now third is lot of focus on external aids and processes so rather than having local governance local community participation there was very limited community participation then again only lip services to was provided to environmental sustainability and nothing much was done in paper rather climate change and global warming became worse off there was no specific mention of agriculture despite the fact most of the world poor are directly or indirectly dependent on agriculture and farming now it is very very difficult to measure the progress next to impossible in certain fields for example in certain parts of the world like Mogadishu which is capital of Somalia it is very very difficult for you to know whether the people are alive or not forget about whether they are hungry or whether they are going to school or not okay now finally India's progress our progress was mixed to be honest and it was mixed why because we achieved half of the targets maybe or half not so it was decently successful not very bad not very good especially in reduction of poverty we did extremely good in reduction of poverty and hunger for example mmr 560 was there in 1990 so target is 140 according to health ministry of india we are at 167 per 1 lakh live births okay this was according to registrar general of india that is rgi sample registration system it was the report of 2013 so we are still awaiting for 2015 report i think we will achieve this goal okay IMR target is 29 by 1000 we will slightly miss this goal because in 2013 the IMR was 40 by 1000 do not confuse it with neonatal mortality rate which is 28 in India's case neonate means up to 28 days infant means up to one year of birth there are 21 targets many will be met approximately 7 to 14 uh, 7 to 13 targets will be met once the data is out obviously and many though will not be achieved but anyway, it should, uh, we will now discuss the sustainable development goals in the next lecture and it is an awesome lecture. So I'll make, I'll make this for you, obviously. Do it uh, the thumbs up. And these are the Facebook URLs and these are the Twitter handles where you can ask the question. Also comment below which part do you like in this lesson. To spread the education for all revolution. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have an awesome day.